everybody, please give it up for from Blue Star Recyclers, Bill Morris. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome, Bill. Hi. Good. Thank you. Good to be here. So, Blue Star Recyclers, this is a big month for you. But first off, just let us know uh, what are what is Blue Star Recyclers. Sure. Blue Star Recyclers is a social enterprise. We recycle electronics as a way to uh, create local jobs for people with autism and other disabilities. Hi, right, that's fantastic. And uh, Earth Day is this month. Earth and Day. And this month is also Autism Awareness Month. That's correct. So this is a big month for you. It is. Uh, we celebrate basically the, the two things that really drive our mission. One is... Um, putting a, a spotlight on our workforce, which is people with autism, which are the most incredible workforce I've ever seen. Um, they, are, um, they are world beaters. And then um, uh, Earth Day is a time when you look into your garages and basements and, and storage rooms and find electronics you're no longer using and bring them in. Yeah, electronics is a big one because you know, everyone knows how to recycle plastic, but I have so many gadgets and gizmos that I'd feel bad throwing into the trash. So this is the place to bring them. It is. All of them. All the little Everything that plugs into a wall, battery operated. Uh, please don't take it to the landfill. Please don't take it to um, thrift stores. They don't want it either. Uh, we, we can recycle it and get it right back to manufacturers that can make new things from them. So. That's fantastic. So mm -hmm. Tell us about this pledge that you have going on. Yeah, if, if you go to our website, bluestarrecyclers.org, uh, between now and Earth Day, we are uh, running a pledge for people just to go online, uh, make the pledge that you're going to recycle what's in your home or your business. Uh, we'll send you a coupon uh, to uh, take some of the cost. There is a little cost to recycle electronics. And um, every time you recycle, a hundred pounds of electronics, you reduce greenhouse gas emissions by 140 pounds. So it doesn't take long for this to really, really mount up quickly in terms of the impact. Right. I think I have like a hundred pounds of iPods just at home. Just old click wheels just getting dust. That's exactly right. Well, it's good you're doing something with them. Um, well, yeah, we have a, a few minutes left. If you want to let people know how they can get involved with the organization, where they can drop off their stuff. And you bet. So we have three locations. Uh, we have Denver. We're uh, 953 Decatur, which is about nine blocks south of Mile High Stadium in Sun Valley neighborhood. Uh, we have uh, operations in Colorado Springs at 100 Talamine Court. And we are also part of the CHARM, the Center for Hard to Recycle Materials in Boulder. So you can drop by any of those three locations uh, to bring the stuff from your home. And if you have a business, uh, call us and we will come get it. Nice. You can do some mass recycling, all the yes. old printers, yes. the old bubble monitors. Yeah, when a, tech, uh, when a company does a technology refresh, when they get rid of their old stuff, we come pick it up. Fantastic. All right. Any other, where can we find you online and all, all that? Yeah, bluestarrecyclers.org. And uh, the local number here is seven, or I'm sorry, 303-534-1667. Flashing right now at the bottom of your screen. <laughs> Not at all. Um, <laughs> well, thanks so much, Bill. We got a couple of PSAs to show from your organization. But, Terrific. Uh, thanks so much for being here. Thanks for having us. And come out and see us and bring all that stuff out of your garage and basement that is getting in the way. We'll create jobs with it right here in Denver. Thank That's you. That's right. What you're watching this show on right now. Give it up for Bill, everybody. Blue Star Recyclers. And let's throw it to those PSAs. Oh, that was nice. My name is Bill Morris. I'm the uh, CEO and co-founder of Blue Star Recyclers. So this is really a big motivator for me to try to find a way where men and women who were not given the opportunity to work could just get the opportunity. The story behind Blue Star is how well they've done, especially for people on the autism spectrum. They possess this innate strength. They love to attack something that has steps to it and repeat those over and over again. So from the occupational side, we knew we were onto something. What I didn't know was how work was going to change them in the long term in terms of the mental, emotional. We're seeing that work sort of unlocks them. Here's my theory, and that is if you do something all day that you're very good at, you have internal self-esteem. And when you know how good you are, 
you start having confidence to start conversations with people you don't know and things like that. Uh, when you have that kind of reliability and productivity in a workforce, uh, you can excel in a down market. I yes, I feel like I'm, I'm a part of something special. It is important to work because I have to pay my dues. I'm excited to come to work. Because I think something like 80% of people on the spectrum aren't aren't in, in employed. Well, working with my friends is what I'm just excited about when coming in to work every day. Yeah, yeah, the world needs to accept that, you know, we're um, unique people. We have strengths and strengths that might not be what other people have. We have different weaknesses. I work here because I want to. Yeah, I mean, we can't communicate, you know, the way people would want us to, but there's it's a brand new world of communication. We can, you know, we've we've got the the the, the tools, and we can we can be really great assets. The neurodiverse population has maybe the greatest undiscovered secret out there. This is a workforce that possesses far far better employability assets than we have. They're better employees than we are.